Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am going to show you how to download Forge and use it for any version of Minecraft. Um, because there were a lot of people asking me how I downloaded Forge, how to use my mods. Uh, all of the links will be in the description by the way. And you will also see time um, times in the video where I show you how to download different things. I will show you how to download Forge and then download mods for Forge and um, so, yeah. So starting off I will show you how to download Forge. So first you need to go to this website. Links will be in the description. Uh, and I will show you how to download Forge for 1.7.10 but it will be basically the same steps for every single um, version. So I go to this and then I go to 7.10 and then you press on the recommended. I, I recommend using the recommended but you can always use the latest. Um, since I already have this downloaded I will just use this. So you press on Windows installer. You it will get a little bit, uh, a little um, notification up here. Um, and then you just save it. I use Firefox so I can just press on here and then open and then press on yes you will then get this and you can you need to press on install clients press on ok and then you will get this notification successfully installed the clients for for version 1.10 and then you open the Launcher. If it if it's already opened, you basically just close it, and then you open it again, uh, and then you should find it. If you scroll down, it will be right here, right there. And they press on create uh, and then play and then you will find it at the very very far down uh, if you start it right now you won't have any mods because you haven't loaded them yet and I can show you that um, once my game starts so to get mods Hold on. There you go. You can see that you don't have any mods, you just have the original ones. You won't really have any. Uh, so that's wrong, you want mods, and I will show you how to download mods now. Now they have four downloaded, you can go to any mods, and any mod you can search them up on YouTube. I have this for example, Keystrokes mod for 1.7.10. Uh, so I downloaded this, I uh, have it right here. But if I want Optifine for example, which, uh, and Optifine if you, did, if you didn't know already, is a very good zoom mod. It also increases your FPS. So to download Optifine, you basically press on the late latest version for the Forge version that you downloaded, right here. And then you wait. You press on skip. And then you press on this. And then save. And then I press it on here. You will you will always get this little ad. You can just close out of that. And you can see this right here. You drag that out to the out to the desktop. You press on this little icon right here. You will get this. Now you can just type in app data percent and then you press on dot minecraft and then you scroll down until you see mods right here. Now if you don't have this folder, uh, you can you basically just have to create it if you can't find it. It's just mods like that. Open it up, create a brand new folder called 1.7.10. If you want to have different forge folders um like 
right here. I have different ones. I have this for 1.8, this for 1.8.9, and then this for 1.7. Downloads in the description, by the way. Um, but enough of that. Um, you basically just create this, but you don't need to if you're not gonna use any other versions of one point of Forge. Sorry. So you just drag that in, or you create a file for 1.7.10. Uh, if you if you're going to use Forge 1.8 as well, so you can have different mods instead of just always dragging them out. You can just um, start uh, 1.8.9 without changing the files at all. Because otherwise, if you if you have this and you start 1.7 1.8, like Forge 1 1.8, it will glitch out and the game will crash. So you don't you don't want that. But now that that, that this is in. You can start the launcher again. Um, you start the launcher again, if I can find it, here it is. And then you scroll down to the version for it, and then you press play. It will take a little bit of time for this to load, but um, that's basically how you install mods. Now, how you do it on a YouTube video, it's different for uh, every single creator. But it will be the same concept. So if I want to get name, no. Uh, if I if I want to get like the status effect height, okay. Hide one point seven point ten. Uh, I can get that here. Um, and be aware of viruses. By the way, you, like always use uh, this from people you trust. But you can basically download this. Um. And you will get the status but now I will just show you really quickly that it is actually downloaded that I have downloaded uh, Optifine correctly uh, as, as you can see if I press on options and then controls you will see right here my con my keys are messed up but that doesn't matter right now you can see right here that it says zoom if you go down to miscellaneous I changed it to C, and you can see that I, I have Optifine. Um, I didn't mean to close out of that, but that doesn't really matter. Um, you, you can see that I could zoom. Um, yeah, and how you download this from a video. Uh, I have already downloaded um, the Keystrokes mod. Keystrokes. Smart 1.7.10. If I can click on this, Jesus Christ. Here's what's up, guys? No, so I'm just going to quickly whatever. release what, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, so I've, I've, I downloaded that and then I have gotten this from Skrilla. Uh, Skilla, sorry, he is a fellow YouTuber, very good creator. He does amazing mods. Um, Keystrokes mod. Uh, you basically just click on the link if you want this. But it's I can't really um, show you this because it's different for every single creator. I just put a link uh, in the description um, for to the download, but whatever. So you basically just download this. It's it's the exactly the same thing, honestly. You go on here, and you go into app data percentage and they scroll down to mods and they just drag it in yeah uh, and it will work now I, I already have this downloaded so I, I don't need it I already have these files right here so as I said earlier if you have different the of these um, different files you can have a lot of mods without actually having to change the files because if i have 1.7 mods and, and i try to launch forge 1.8 it will glitch out and it won't it, it won't work so if i try to start forge now it, it will work um it will take um some time to load this in uh but it will work so that's basically how you download mods how you can create um 
well basically just how you download mods how you load mods how you download forge how you download mods from web websites or youtube videos um and you can see that my mods are loaded um if i press on mods you can see these are all my mods and since i had the f uh, folders it did not crash by the way links in the description to these mods uh, if I just load into this brand new world, you can see the um, that I have all of the mods loaded. I haven't set them up correctly yet, uh, but they do work um, very, very well. Uh, this is Optifine, by the way. And you can see that it does increase my FPS. My FPS isn't the best right now since I'm um, recording, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that that's basically all for this video. I will show another video on my 1.7.10 mods and 1.8.9 mods, so links to that in the description. Or I will just release it uh, in a few days, like next week possibly. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you found it helpful. Bye.